guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a favorites video. I have not done a favorites video in the last quarter. Clearly, this is gonna be like an April, May, and June favorites all combined into one. And I still have like so few products to talk about. And these are all things you have probably also heard me mention in other videos. I do feel like um, favorite videos can favorites videos can be a little bit redundant and I feel like I'm just talking about the same products again and again and again and I just feel the pressure sometimes to talk about new stuff instead of talking about the same things over and over and over again which I already mentioned in so many other videos and then since I'm also doing ranking videos and like speed reviews videos um, like also reviewing a bunch of products from like a specific I want to say brand or category or stuff like that I feel like I'm already sharing with you my favorites in different other videos so it does feel like these videos can be a little bit redundant and whenever I ask you that should I still do these videos or should I stop them you guys always say yes you always say that you don't care whether I'm talking about the same things again and again and again but I just feel like you know a bro broken record at some points so um yeah anyways this intro is getting long and even though we have few things to talk about let's wrap up this video and not make it super duper long and jump right into it um so firstly i'll like talk about the things which i probably haven't shared with you that i am absolutely loving and like stuff that i've unintentionally hidden from you guys um firstly uh, this is probably uh, not the great way to start this video because it's something i'm not able to find um this specific shade of they do still have the darker shade which is i think number 20 this is number 10 light in the essence my skin perfecto loose fixing powder now this is something that um i just bought on a whim i was looking at buying an affordable loose powder and i saw it and i'm like okay essence is a good brand let's buy it and i didn't know how amazing this was until i um tried it out i discovered it and what i love about this loose powder so 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 much it literally blurred my skin and makes it look absolutely flawless that's my favorite thing about this and it also lasts really well throughout the entire day of me wearing it it has a little bit of a tint um it's not like a banana shade but it's a really nice light loose powder it's not translucent it does have a little bit pigment to it so if you have hyperpigmentation it is going to conceal that really well and make your skin look really really amazing so that is why i have absolutely fallen in love with it and i'm so disheartened that i'm not able to find this literally anywhere i probably won't even be able to link this for you but if you see this specific product my skin perfector loose fixing powder in the shade light just please send me a link i would be so 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 happy if i'm able to buy this it was super duper affordable when i bought it and i'm pretty sure like that is the mrp like this is quite affordable yeah it's just 475 rupees so it's like under 500 i bought it for around 300 i want to say 300 350 or something it's so great if you have deeper skin you can buy the shade nude that will probably work for you but for me i'm pretty sure it's going to be too dark and it's not going to serve the purpose so like what's the point even of buying it but yes i'm really hoping that i'm able to get my hands on this shade um i'm like using it very very sparingly also i don't use it every single day because of that reason is because once this is out i probably won't be able to get my hands on it again so i'm savoring this product it's got such a beautiful finish and that's why i'm so obsessed with it absolutely love this product i really wish i could get my hands on it or maybe i'll try to find something that is similar i want to say the maybelline fit me is similar but again maybelline fit me doesn't give that like flawless um, finish on the skin it's got pigment and um, you know all of that stuff but um, this one also like never cakes on my skin the Maybelline one can cake sometimes um, so yes I'm really hoping to find either an alternative for this or I'm able like I'm, I hope I'm able to find this you know in stock to be able to buy it okay um, then um, something I'll just briefly mention because um, I've had this for a while and I've used it for a while but um, recently when I was using it in the past couple of months mainly in April and May I fell in love with it all over again it's the shade um, Charmed from the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes again it's something not very easily available um, in India but you can get this through Sephora if you have someone uh, who's in the US and um, this is actually the mini which came in their holiday gift set uh, you can buy a full size of this one if you would like to 
I will probably buy a full size of it. I've already hit pan on it and um, once i'm done with it i'm definitely going to be able to uh, i'm definitely going to buy a full size of it somehow i'll figure that out but this is such a beautiful uh pink shade it's like you know the dear um pink blush which went like viral it's basically like it gives you that same like effect in the end but it's not as cool tone this i would say is more neutral leaning maybe even i don't want to say warm i don't think it's warm i mean look at how like baby doll pink this is it's definitely like a neutral slash little bit cool but i think it's gonna work on so many skin tones if you're fair even if you are like medium like my skin tone if you're super duper deep then i'm not sure if it'll work for you but this just brightens and livens your face so much i think a couple of years ago i was obsessed with peach for the exact same reason this is the new peach for me and it's not a peach shade but it gives me that same bright look on my face and if you're going for like a full pink look like pink eyeshadow um, or like maybe just a light pink um, on the eye a pink lipstick something like this and this blush it would look so 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 pretty and i have used it clearly so much that i have now hit pan on it so absolutely love 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 this shade i would also want to find another blush which is like this shade family but more affordable because yes that is more expensive though i will repurchase this without caring about the price because the shade is so beautiful i love the formula too and it is um it's not too sheer it's not too pigmented i also like that fact some of the other tarte shades i don't love this is probably my favorite shade from tarte uh, it has dethroned exposed it's the shade charmed so absolutely love it i'm giving it a break because if i keep this in my everyday makeup bag i will fly through this very very quickly use it up completely and then i won't be able to get my hands on it anymore i mean for a couple of months um, slash year i don't know when i'm going to be able to get my hands on it but will definitely um, repurchase it for sure let's talk about some vitamin c uh, products i have a vitamin c serum now this one again i've mentioned in multiple other videos that it's my favorite but i just wanted to quickly mention it here too the minimalist vitamin c is something that i rediscovered recently and when i say recently i want to say i repurchased it a while back but i've been using it for the past couple of months i want to say on and off i don't use it every single day that is why clearly this bottle has lasted me so long if i used it every day it would be probably out um, by now and i am like more than 50 percent done with this too now the reason i'm mentioning it in my favorites video is because my two favorite things about this one compared to any other vitamin c is first of all it does not oxidize as quickly as some other vitamin c serums do so it's gonna last you a long time even if you're not using it regularly um, or maybe you buy it but don't open it immediately it's not like it's gonna go bad the other thing and my favorite thing probably the reason why i've fallen absolutely in love with it is because when i use it regularly i truly notice um not anything to do with hyperpigmentation i don't think vitamin c works for that but for me personally it gives me an overall like lit from within glow on the skin of that um, it's not about like when i put this on it gives me a glow no if i put this on in the morning which i do i use it in my morning skincare routine um in the evenings or even the next day when i look at my face uh, without any skincare on i still look radiant and shiny and so 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 glowy it um helps with like overall how you look and how it actually changes your skin from inside out with using it consistently for a couple of days you will notice the difference uh, versus you using it and then you not using it you will clearly notice there is a difference in the glow aspect so this is something you can put in your skincare routine use it maybe alternatively uh, every other day you can use it every day if you want to as well but if you want to make it last long you can maybe use this every other day or maybe use it for a couple of days in a row and then it's going to give you lasting results so it'll probably last um, like the glow in your skin will probably last for the remaining days as well but um yes i absolutely love it i will definitely repurchase it once i go through this bottle i don't repurchase a lot of minimalist serums but this one is clearly an exception to that rule because um i have not discovered a serum like this from any other brand which has given me the same amazing results so yes i would highly 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 recommend this one as well 
if that's what you're looking for um speaking about vitamin c we have a new product which i discovered i mean it's not a new product it's new to me it's the dot and key vitamin c plus e super bright moisturizer now i love my moisturizers to have active ingredients in them because it's like a two in one benefit that you're getting you're getting the benefit of the active ingredient along with um you know of course the amazing consistency of the moisturizer now this is one of those cases where the moisturizer has an amazing consistency and i also feel like the vitamin c is pretty strong in here and when i say pretty strong i mean like it's to the point where it's going to actually benefit your skin and be effective it's not like a super low percentage of vitamin c which is just put for name sake so that you can slap vitamin c no i think the vitamin c in here will actually benefit your skin so if you don't want to have a separate serum in your skincare routine if you want like one product to give you dual benefits like a serum plus moisturizer kind of a situation would highly recommend this especially for people who have normal slash oily skin for dry skin i don't think this is the best consistency because it's quite lightweight and gel like so if you have dry skin you would probably want to get um you know something that's more hydrating and moisturizing but for normal to oily skin if you want a dual benefit product i would highly highly recommend this one for sure uh moving on next now um this I was torn if I should put it in my favorites or not, and I'll tell you why. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this product. A, I think it's too expensive for what it is. I think I should first tell you what it is, and then I will get into talking about it. I'm speaking about the K Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Embrace. Um, I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing a different lipstick, but I have worn this. I think in my new beauty releases video of June. so if you go and watch that video this is the lipstick which i'm wearing and i think it looks very very different on camera versus in person um i think i also have a shorts um swatching this uh, which will probably be up by the time this video goes up or it will go up sometime in um july i'm not really sure about the timeline of that shorts but it will be up i've already filmed it and probably scheduled it too now um this particular lipstick first of all i was talking about the price point so uh it's 1200 rupees which is definitely like a high end price point and k beauty is not a drug store brand it's not a high end brand either it's kind of like a mid level brand so the price point i was a little bit shocked by because i don't think a lot of their products are about 1000 rupees this one definitely was so i was waiting for the longest time for it to go on sale and then i would buy it i would not pay full price for this at all i think i bought this 30% off and i still feel like i spent a little too much money on this so i'm not very happy with the price point i wish it was more affordable yes they say that the formula is very luxurious etc 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 and that's why it warrants the high price tag i don't actually agree with that i think the formula is very comparable to other liquid lipsticks which are out there in the market but this is more expensive than that so i cannot personally justify the price that i paid and I cannot recommend this in good faith to you when I know there are other formulas which I love way too much uh, which don't cost as much they probably cost like half or less than half of this so for that reason like contrary to popular belief i don't think that it's worth the money um that being said in terms of shades um i was really torn on which shade to buy because uh um, there were a couple of different ones which i swatched multiple times going in store i also looked at people swatching them online to try to figure out a shade which works for me and i ended up with this now um it definitely looks different in the store lighting versus when i actually put it on my lips in person and also in the store they don't let you swatch it on your lips they will only let you swatch it on the hand and hand swatches will not uh, the lipstick that like what it looks like on the hand it's not going to look the same on your lips uh, but that being said i still thought this would work for me and i think i can make it work once it dries down when i first apply it it's a little bit too light for my skin tone this shade in embrace can wash me out and once it dries down um, it gets a little bit deeper and it looks like a nice mid tone pink which is not too warm and not too cool it reminds me of shades which i used to wear back in the day in college and they used to look super pretty on me back then i used to love these kind of nude shades but i just don't think that these are my favorite shades to wear anymore that being said because i've spent the amount of money that i have spent on this i will continue to keep it and wear it and probably use it up hopefully but i will not repurchase at least this shade i don't think i would repurchase any other shades also maybe the red 
I do have my eye on the red and it is hard to find um, liquid lipsticks um, especially in reds which don't um, you know mess up throughout the day um, like after eating and stuff so maybe for that purpose I might repurchase the red from this shade and try that one out but I don't think I'm going to um, you know buy any other shade from their line and it's also like I said hard for me to recommend this to you so I have a love hate relationship with this I like the shade I like the formula it's not bad it's just too expensive for what it is so for that reason it's sometimes hard to justify the price point um, that was that moving on to the last product for this video we have something that I have repurchased and re fallen in love with I did give you an update a couple of months ago that um, I have dethroned this I've decluttered it etc since then I you know whatever I decluttered I got back and I actually used it up so after I used it up I repurchased it this is the plum body love in Hawaiian rumba roll-on deodorant uh, I was having some issues with this um, causing me to stink versus helping with the odor actually um, so I'm trying to figure that out and I've mentioned it in other videos too that if you're facing the same issue with roll-on deodorants where they can make you stink maybe switch it up like for example if you use this for a week or two and then after two weeks you notice okay it's making you stink take a break for a couple of days and try out a different roll on so i am switching between the chemistic play one and the this plum one and um the uh, chemistic play one also makes me stink so that makes me stink i switch to this use it for a couple of weeks then i stop this when this starts making me stink then i go back to that and like back and forth back and forth so um, i did want to let you know that i've repurchased it and this is currently working better for me as compared to the chemistry play one so yes that is why i'm mentioning it in a favorites video but i'm still facing this issue with um, all aha roll-ons at least the ones which i've tried yet and of course there are more to try because clearly there are newer ones which are launching in the market that i will be trying out as well so yeah i wanted to give you that little update on this product again so the last two i kind of have a love hate relationship with but all the others i absolutely love of course there are a ton of other stuff which i'm constantly loving and using but those are ones you have seen me talk about for so so long on my channel that i just didn't feel like mentioning them again in a famous video and clearly it's a good thing that I didn't because this video is already so long. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that my reviews on these products helped you. Um, so yes, let me know if you have tried out any of these products down below in the comment section and what are your thoughts on them. I would absolutely love to know. But yes, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching you guys and until next time. Bye. Bye bye.